Knowledge, Domain 9, Lesson 8. Here are this lesson's learning targets. Our goals are, I can recall facts about the pilgrims and Native Americans. I can describe the relationship between the pilgrims and people from the Wapanoag tribe. I can demonstrate an understanding of the word fascinated. I can illustrate important events of the pilgrims. Let's talk about what we've learned in this domain so far. Let's take a look at this illustration from lesson seven. Answer the following questions with a thumbs up for yes or a thumbs down for no. Was the ship that brought the pilgrims to North America called the Mayflower? Yes. Was finding gold one of the dangers the pilgrims faced on their trip? No. Did the pilgrims sail to and land in America in 1620? Yes. Who were the separatists? Separatists were people in England who did not want to share the king's religion. They did not want to attend the Church of England or pray as the king prayed. In today's story, you will hear the following new vocabulary words. Fascinated. Fascinated means very interested in something. The girl is fascinated at how her plant is growing. Legend. A legend is an often told story that may or may not be true. My grandmother told me a legend to explain the meaning of a seashell. You've learned about Native Americans in an earlier domain. Native people lived on the continents of North and South America long before Europeans visited and settled in this area. In today's Read Aloud, you will hear a little bit about a tribe called the Wampanoag who lived in Massachusetts. Listen carefully to find out what happened after the pilgrims reached their destination. The pilgrims anchored in a harbor off the coast of what we now called Massachusetts. According to legend, when they were looking for a good spot to land, they saw a huge rock sticking out of the water near the shore. One of them exclaimed, that rock is dry and level. It looks like a perfect place to go ashore without slipping. And so, one by one, the pilgrims climbed out onto the rock. They named it Plymouth Rock. If you visit Massachusetts today, you can still see Plymouth Rock, or at least a rock that could have been Plymouth Rock. No one really knows. What we do know is that when the pilgrims first landed in America, they slept aboard the Mayflower until they could decide on the best place to start their colony. After exploring for days, they found an acceptable site. Once they were all ashore, the first thing they did was get down on their knees. Let us raise a praise to thank God for arriving safely in our new home, they said. Of course, it was not really a home yet. Much difficult work lay ahead. They gathered supplies from the Mayflower and braving cold November winds, they set about clearing the land. They rushed to build log homes before the snows of winter came and they decided upon a name for their new settlement. They named it Plymouth Colony. One day, as the pilgrims were working in their new colony, two strangers stepped out from the forest. The pilgrims stopped what they were doing and stared, fascinated by what they saw. The men did not look at all like them, and at first the pilgrims were alarmed by their appearance. 
The settlers stood quietly as the men came closer and closer. They must be Native Americans, they thought to themselves. Were they friends or enemies? They weren't too sure. Then one of the strangers smiled. Suddenly the sense of danger was gone. One of the men introduced himself as Samoset and told the colonies that he was a member of the Wampanoag tribe of the Native Americans. A few days later, Samoset reappeared with a man who would turn out to be one of the pilgrim's greatest friends. I am Tisquantum, he told them. I am of the Wampanoag people and I have come to help you. He held out his hand in friendship to them and one by one the colonists stepped forward to shake his hand. Tisquantum, or Squanto as he was called, was able to talk to the pilgrims because he spoke English. When he was younger, he was forced by Spanish explorers to go to Spain with them. He was able to get free and travel to England where he learned to speak English. He was then able to get back to his home country. The pilgrims did not know at this point, but life was about to get much, much easier. Their lives would get easier in part because Squanto was not the only Wampanoag who helped them. The Wampanoag Sachem, or chief, became a great and important friend to the colonists. The chief's name was Massasoit. Massasoit gave the colonists his word that the Wampanoag tribe would gladly share their land as long as the colonists took care of it. We will teach you how to live in harmony with nature, he told them. Being on friendly terms with the Wampanoag was very important to the pilgrims' survival. Now, answer these questions about today's story. What was the main topic or main idea of this lesson? The pilgrims entered a strange new land and needed help from the native people to survive there. I will ask you more questions about today's story. What is the legend of Plymouth Rock? The legend of Plymouth Rock is a traditional story told about the pilgrims first landing in the New World on a rock near shore. How did the pilgrims feel when they first saw Samoset come out of the forest? Why? They were fascinated and afraid because he looked different from them and they were not sure if he was a friend or an enemy. To which tribe of Native Americans did Squanto and Chief Massasuit belong? Where did they live? They were of the Wampanoag tribe. They lived in Massachusetts near the Plymouth Colony. Why was Squanto able to talk to the pilgrims in their own English language? He had been forced to go to Spain, but then got to England, where he learned the English language. He then returned to Massachusetts. The read aloud says that the pilgrims needed the Wampanoag in order to survive. Name some of the ways you think the Wampanoag might help the pilgrims survive. Share your thoughts with someone in your family. Now it's time for some word work. In the read aloud, you heard, the pilgrims were fascinated by what they saw. Say the word fascinated with me. Fascinated. Fascinated means very interested in something. I am fascinated by rainbows. I just have to stop and stare when I see one. Tell about something with which you are fascinated. Use the word fascinated when you tell about it. Begin your sentence by saying, I am fascinated by... What is the word we've been talking about? That's right, fascinated. 
The opposite of fascinated is bored. Bored means not interested in something. I am going to read some sentences describing different situations. If the situation describes someone who is fascinated, say, she or he is fascinated. If it describes someone who is bored, say, she or he is bored. Miguel whined that he was tired of waiting in line at the grocery store. He was bored. Lakeisha's baby sister giggled and smiled every time Lakeisha shook a colorful rattle. She was fascinated. I am so interested in this book about castles that I don't even want to stop reading to eat dinner. I am fascinated. I fell asleep in the car on the way to my aunt's house because there was nothing to see out the window. I was bored. Now it's time to show what you've learned. Take a look at the timeline from lesson six. In the previous read aloud, you learned that the pilgrims sailed to and landed in North America in the year 1620. I will add 1620 to the timeline. Now, the date the pilgrims sailed is closer to the Jamestown settlement of 1607 than to Columbus's voyage. The date the pilgrims sailed is closer to that of Columbus's voyage in 1492 than it is to today. The date the pilgrim sailed and the date of Columbus's voyage both happened hundreds of years ago. What are some things you learned in today's read aloud? Draw a picture that shows one thing you learned from today's read aloud. Let's review this lesson's learning targets. Our goals are I can recall facts about the pilgrims and Native Americans. I can describe the relationship between the pilgrims and the people from the Wampanoag tribe. I can demonstrate an understanding of the word fascinated. I can illustrate important events of the pilgrims. That completes our knowledge lesson. Happy learning!